let's talk about block public access for S3, as this is probably the most important security feature that you need to know about S3. Uh, and this is a safety feature that is enabled by default to block all public access to an S3 bucket because the number one security misconfiguration is S3 buckets. When, uh, when people have anonymous access uh, or unrestricted access to your S3 buckets, so AWS has made really, really sure that uh, that this is not going to happen to you. Uh, and they have way more than just this single measure to uh, detect and tell you about uh, whether you have open buckets. But there are four options uh, that we have here. So we have block all public access. But once we check that off, we can kind of narrow down exactly what we want to have it for. So uh, they have um, a checkbox for whether you have new access control lists and whether uh, they're allowed to um, have... Uh, public access, then it could be for any control lists, then it's only for new bucket policies or access points, or any bucket policies or access points. It used to just be for new bucket policies, any bucket policies, but then they added access points, they lumped them together. I'm not sure why they didn't make six checkboxes, but that's what they wanted to do. Um, so very straightforward, the times that we're going to be turning off block public access is when we want to give anonymous access, that could be you know, when you are trying to provide static website hosting or um, you want people to publicly able to download read-only files from S3. So there are a few use cases, but more, more or less you can uh, work around that issue by having CloudFront in front of it and reduce uh, your security risk there. But uh, I just want to point out that access points S3 access points, which we'll talk about, it's a it's a separate um, feature of S3, can have their own independent block public access settings, uh, which we'll see when we get to that section, okay?